The St. Herman House Focus Cleveland uh, began over 30 years ago, and from its inception, from the very beginning, it was dedicated to sheltering homeless men and to feeding the poor. People that come here have been alienated. They've been alienated from family, they've been alienated from children, they've been alienated from work, they've been alienated from society, and they're finding very little love in the places they turn for help. I was homeless since 2007. I had no family, all my family passed away. Um, I had no relatives that would take me in, and so I had nowhere to go, so this has been a godsend for me. We are a family. I mean, many of us have been here many years, and we work and live as if we were a family. I mean, many of us have no family, so this is all the family that we've got. We make that a focus here to treat people with dignity, to treat people in a manner that lets them know that we believe that they are created in the image of God as much as anybody else. And as a part of that hospitality ministry, the tangible part, uh, we serve 66,728 meals every year. We do three meals a day, seven days a week. It's my understanding we're the only facility in the state of Ohio that does that. In addition to the uh, food ministry, we are a men's shelter. When I arrived here in January, there were only 22 beds up. Uh, we added four more and we were immediately full. There is a core of men who I often refer to as the brotherhood that are very involved in the prayers, the kind of key players in the feeding ministry. One of the challenges of St. Herman House is we want men to move on, but this core of, group of men that have been here and been devoted to this life of prayer and devoted to this service actually are key to the sustainability of the feeding ministry that we do. And I think for many of them it has become their home. We all have responsibilities in order to keep this house running. Um, some people have the responsibility of being in the kitchen as cooks. Some people are in the dish room doing dishes. Some people are washing floors. Some people are attending to the dining room. I can see how I've helped the people on the streets over the years. And that's what it's all about. That's what makes you feel good. That's what makes your day worthwhile. You know, I've thought a lot since I've been here about Jesus healing the 10 leopards. He gave healing to all the lepers. He did so expecting nothing in return. But there was that one who recognized him as the Son of God, came back to worship him, and Jesus said to him, you've been made whole.